another week's vlog. I've already dropped Gracie off at nursery. He wasn't very happy about it, bless him, because he hasn't been for three weeks because it's been Christmas holidays. So but yeah, we've just driven to Shoreditch and we're gonna go and find somewhere to like get cozy and do some work. I wanna take some pictures from my blog as well. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Got in and settled, and look who we bumped into. Jack. Hello. Sweeney Sweeney. <laughs> into Shoreditch and oh and take some vlog pictures it's really really cold outside though so um it's gonna be quick I think we're uh, just taking some outfit posts in the, the middle of the street in Shoreditch as you do it's really difficult to like get a gap between people walking past like cars trying to go past and stuff and it's also about to tip it down with rain as well so we're like trying to get them all done really quickly so far all we've argued about is um the positioning of my feet <laughs> which is quite good for us because we do always it's like a known thing though i think any husbands or boyfriends that take their wives blog pictures they always end up like having a little bicker <laughs> um so i'm glad i'm not the only one but yeah just got to take one more for my instagram you're an instagram husband now <laughs> All finished, back in the warm, thank God. <laughs> it was so, so cold. I always look so awkward on my um, vlog photos as well. I always feel like really geeky and just, yeah, awkward. There's a reason why I'm not a fashion blogger. <laughs> We are busy working, getting loads of stuff done. I'm just grabbing my coffee actually. <laughs> this week I plan to talk about money, which you're not supposed to talk about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. But we've just got pizza, so I need to go and eat that. It smells horrible. It smells horrible, you think so? Oh well, I'll have your bit then. and I think we both left kind of feeling like yes but yeah we're gonna go and get Gracie now I hope the little one has napped I don't think he will have he's always a bit tricky when he comes home from nursery he'll be so grumpy he'll be so grumpy, be so grumpy. Um, anyways no one wants to see this like rainy freezing cold let the ride home it's uh it's not nice so we'll do a three two one and you guys can see Gracie ready three, three two, two one, one. Gracie He's back and he's in a good mood, which is quite strange because uh, this never normally happens. Steffi's just gone to go and pick Gracie up. I'm just tidying up the kitchen a little bit because it is gross. Whenever we switch and for some reason or another, I will do the drop off in the morning and Steph does the pick up. I always just find myself like frantically prepping for when they get home. So like normally if Steph does a pickup, I spend the whole like 45 minutes that he's away not relaxing like I probably should because um, you know it's another week till nursery again. I just spend it like changing Grayson's bed sheets and doing his washing and like getting his like snacks ready. But I secretly kind of enjoy it too. I'm like oh he's got clean sheets. Like it's just, it's just a bit satisfying. 
to tell me I'm not the only one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to organise some of his uh, little birthday presents from his party yesterday and send some thank you text messages to all the people who came and everyone who bought him lovely presents. So yeah, loads of stuff that Grayson will probably never say thank you for, but hey, <laughs> that's parenting. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? Say yes, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, Daddy. Okay. Did you miss me? Yeah. Oh, good. Wrestle it at the threshold of the North Sea of my mind. And a knock to the board and that drove me here to face the tide and swim. I swim. Oh, swim. Dip a toe in the ocean. Oh, how it hardens and it numbs. The rest of me is a version of man built to collapse and crumb. And if I hadn't come now to the coast. Are we gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? Let's see. Oh, it's the easy way tonight. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can do it. So I swim until you can't see your life. Swim until you can't see your life. Swim. Somebody bought Grayson <laughs> this for Christmas. Pony. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Your feet stink. They do. They smell horrible. They smell like old men. <laughs> ah. Look at how annoying this is. You know how I've got a headache? It's not going to last very long. It's loud. I'm going to accidentally trip over it with my big boots on, I think. Let's all get ready for bed now. He does not look like he's ready for bed now. Bedtime! Which bed Sofa. <laughs> yeah, nice try. We're gonna go for a play date with my friend Diva and her little boy Hendrix, aren't we? Grayson has been talking about Hendrix since his birthday party. So we're gonna drive over to their house today and just hang out. The boys are gonna play together, have donkey. some mum chat. <laughs> donkey. A donkey. Oh, ee aw. He's saying donkey because last time we went on a play date with them, we went to a farm and saw some donkeys. You're a lot cleverer than you make out. Ee aw. Ee aw. <laughs> Should we go? Yeah. Let's go! Amethyst and flowers on the table Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose a friend Today I want to talk to you about something, something that nobody in this industry really likes you to talk about. It's always one of the first questions that people ask us when we tell them that we make YouTube videos, and that's how do you make money? So today I'm going to talk about the four main ways that YouTubers make money. We're here! Gracie's crying because he wants to see Hendrix so badly right now. So, you see? For the dead, I see the signal search light strike me in the window of my room. Well, I got nothing to prove. Ads are the main way that YouTubers make money. To give you an idea how much money a video would make. If we don't get a copyright flag on one of our videos, which very rarely happens, and that video gets 100,000 views, we'll make anywhere between 60 pounds and 200 pounds. We're not signed to a network, so that's how much we make per video, roughly. However, if you use licensed music like we do, then the labels will claim all of that money. So you get nada, nothing. 
You don't get anything. It used to make me really mad, but I'm kind of like numb to it now. The same way I feel about Donald Trump and Katie Hopkins. It used to piss me off, but now it's just like, pfft. we could get around it by using stock music, but stock music tends to be shit. We would rather take the hit and expose some really, really good bands. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys! <laughs> yeah, guys. Say hi guys. Mm. Are you gonna give each other a cuddle? Mm. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Gracie! Is it Hendrix's turn now? Crowdfunding. Some YouTubers might ask you to sponsor their channel, and that's basically where you donate a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars each week to the YouTuber. We had a few of our viewers suggest that we try that. We thought about it, and we just felt that it wasn't really right for us. We'd feel a bit too guilty with that, swanning around London, drinking mocha chocolate frappuccinos, buying a piece of artwork. We just feel guilty with any time we spent any money, because you guys would be giving us that money. So it, it just kind of didn't sit right with us. So we kind of crossed that one off. <laughs> Brand deals. A brand deal is when a brand will come along and say, do you mind talking about our product and integrating it into your video? In exchange, we'll give you some money. For some YouTubers, this is easier than other YouTubers. For Hannah and I, we have a child, so we have a totally different set of moral obligations that come into play. We have four things on our checklist before we agree to a brand deal. One, do we like the product? Would we recommend it to a friend? Two, will the brand give us enough creative freedom to be able to talk about this thing in our own way? Three, will this compromise our integrity. Four, will the content we produce add value to the viewers, you guys? If we can tick those all off, then it's up to Hannah and I to sit down, get a pen and paper, and to think up a creative solution almost for this brand and work out the best way that we could integrate it into our vlogs. Merchandising. This, for us, is the most rewarding way that we can fund this because not only do you have a tangible product, but you also are helping fund these videos each week. This is the area that we're gonna try and expand on over the next year. We'll hopefully be launching a new site this month. I think you're gonna like what we're doing. We'll let you know all about that soon anyway. Those are the four main revenue streams that YouTubers use to generate income to be able to fund what they do. However, none of those are ever gonna get Hannah and I onto the property ladder, so we have one out one thing that might potentially help us buy a house and that's want feed want feed is a social wish list site i launched a couple of a couple of years ago it's had over half a million products uploaded by you guys the, the users it's growing each day over 600 people now making money just by listing products to want feed if you want to know more about all of that i'll put a link in the down bar um, i've done a whole video explaining how the structure of want feed works and how you can make money just from using it early this year i'm going to do something with want feed which i feel personally fits the ethos of the company perfectly. And that's not go to a big investor to ask for some funding. That's to go to the users and ask you guys if you want to invest in it. You'll be able to invest from, I think it's five pounds, and then for that you'll own shares. And then eventually one day when we do sell it, hopefully that five pounds will turn into a lot more or 10 pounds or 20 pounds will turn into a lot more money. So then everyone benefits. The whole thing is called seed funding and it just felt like the right thing to do with WantFeed. Pinterest is worth billions, like crazy amounts of money. And they're the people that I'm looking to build WantFeed to contend with. So technically you'll be my business partners and you'll be watching me each week, working my socks off to try and make it a success. We're about 90% set up the whole campaign thing. We'll do a whole video talking about it um, so you can know more about how it's all working, but we're nearly there basically. And early this year, I'm just gonna offer you guys a chance to just to throw in a couple of pounds and own shares. You'll own a couple of the pixels on the website. They'll be yours. I hope that clears it all up. That's how YouTubers make money. That's how we make money. That's how one day we plan to eventually, hopefully buy a house. And that's how we plan to do it together. Right, back to, um, back to Hannah's play date. Can you say goodbye to Hendrix now? Thank you so much.
problem. So lovely. Sorry we wrecked your house. <laughs> kind of tired now. I think I'm going to go home and have a nap. <laughs> Let's go home and see Daddy, yeah? home. Grayson, do you love me? No. Uh, just to show you that he's not just saying no. Grayson, do you want cake? Yeah. Hannah said um, Diva's house smelled really bad. <laughs> I'm joking, she didn't. Did it smell? No. <laughs> Mummy. That's Mummy's key. Put it back, please. Why is it always like my purse and my card? Why can't it be like my socks. Good boy, can mummy have a bank card back please? He's such a slappy for you. If I don't watch him though, he'll like slot it somewhere where yeah. I can never get it out again. You being a good boy? No, not. <laughs> not. <laughs> Come back here, you. Well, give me my bank card back, you little brat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gracie, that's mummy. Good move, Grace. One of our friends very kindly bought Grace in one of these magic water pens and a little like book that goes with it and you fill the pen up with water and then the colours all come out and you can reuse it and stuff. He's kind of liking it so far which surprises me because he hasn't really got the patience for most art related activities. Wow, do you like it? Oh, are you colouring in the actual dinosaur? <laughs> Pretty. Okay. Oh no. Gracie, what's daddy going to make you? Ten. You want to make a tent? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, then I got the stuff. I got the stuff for the tent. I love that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gracie, your turn. Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Gracie's in such a nice little mood this morning. Today we have another play date planned. It's quite far away. We've got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. We're going to my best friend Lucy's house. I feel like this year has just been like, the second year of Grayson's life has just been like a really positive one for me because I've made so many new friends and like people that I feel like are going to be in both of our lives forever, so... A lot of people want to know about baby number two. Kids and London are very expensive. We don't want our kids to have to do without, so we need to make sure that when we do have a kid, we are financially stable enough to be able to afford to give our child what he or she needs in life. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. We're here. You want to see Harry? Who do you want to see? Harry. Harry. Knock, knock. <gasps> Who is it? Yeah. 
George wants to know what my favorite thing about being a father is. Your ego just chills out of it and you just don't care so much. You have the most important things in your life now. It doesn't matter if you're balding or you, you look like a horse. Inside, impossible heights. Said you'd always be my white blood. Circulate the right love. Me Matthew wants to know about my favourite cloud formations. Cumulus and cirrus clouds are my two favourite cloud formations because they're good for time lapses. You'd always be my white blood. Elevate my soul above. Giving me your white blood. Cordy wants me to talk about house prices in London. Uh, she says she was joking. That's a shame because as a man in his 30s, there is nothing more you love talking about than house prices in London. It's just, oh Jesus, I can't even tell you. It's getting me very excited, a bit too excited thinking about it. We're just gonna take a little walk into town to take the boys to soft play and wear them out. My child's like made it halfway down the street now, so gotta run. Gracie, wait, mummy. Can't do it alone. I'm ready to hope. Swing me out of the low. Why do we? Abby has asked what my guilty pleasures are. Shavorsky crystal stuff. Like, you know, when you go past those windows and you see those Shavorsky crystal, like Mickey Mouse's, and they're really shiny and glimmery. I just can't stop looking at them. I love those. They're my guilty pleasures. Be my white blood. Circulate the right love. Giving me your white blood I need you right here with me Said you'd always be my white blood Elevate my soul above It's time to leave soft play The boys have stolen snacks from our handbags and like gone and hidden in soft play Gracie, where are you? Mitch says, are you keen for the Oculus Rift? The Oculus, for those of you who don't know, is a virtual reality machine. It goes over your head, wherever you look, you're in a virtual world. It's like you're there, basically. And I've wanted this thing since I first tried virtual reality when I was about eight or nine. It was really shit, but I just could not believe that all of a sudden I was in a virtual world. So I've ordered this, this thing that comes out at the end of March, I think it comes out, and I just can't wait. The problem is, at the moment, with us humans, is we're big lumps of carbon, and we have to move this big lump from one place to another the whole time to do different things. Why can't we just do things in VR? So weddings you could do, you could do meetings, you could go to work in VR, you could do all these things eventually in VR. Your body could stay static wherever it is and you could just be anywhere. I truly believe virtual reality will change the world. And it's the reason why Facebook bought the Oculus business for like billions. It's because Facebook knows it will change the world. People are going to become very attached to another world, the world in which they can exist where they know they're safe and they know they can escape from the day-to-day -day hassles of real life. Computers need to get more powerful to get the experience as, as rich as it needs to be, but it will get there. By the time Grayson is my age, I promise you, the Oculus and virtual reality will be ubiquitous. It will be everywhere. It will be mainstream. It will be as big as mobile phones. You wait and see. Very excited about that. I'm glad you asked. Thanks, Michael. Oh, God, I spilled coffee everywhere. I'm that excited. Right, I think that's it. No more questions. Oh, God, this is going to be such a bitch to edit. Anyway. Let's cut to um, Hannah and Grayson. We're off home now. Gracie really doesn't want to go home. He's like, no. But we'll see you soon. Love you. Come on then, kiddo. Bye. It's a case of getting him in the car now. <laughs> Welcome home. This is the first time I've been out of the house in about two days. I've been stuck in editing, so uh, it's quite nice to uh, smell some fresh air. Just thought we would walk into town, get a bit, a bit of something to eat. We are well and truly in winter now. <laughs> He's such a savage. You're a good boy, so you can have one. Are you gonna say please? Please. Thank you. <gasps> Eat it with a bit of dignity, Grayson, please. He always leans so far out to the left. I wish he wouldn't do that. It's breaking my spine. Gracie, do you love daddy today? No. Gracie, do you love mummy? No. Gracie, do you love anyone? No. You're a cold little man. <sighs> please stop leaning out the left. You wanna go upstairs? Gracie's gone to bed now. 
we've just had dinner we're really tired guys we're gonna go to bed really early it's like nine <laughs> say night night hi everyone <laughs> i said that like you were a baby <laughs> say night night <laughs> see you tomorrow morning bye, bye guys bye <laughs> Ready? Zebra crossing, zebra crossing. Sorry, sorry. I feel like you're driving a tractor. <laughs> Today we're heading over to see our friends Sammy and Jason. We're all gonna go and have a little look around the Saatchi gallery. And then we're gonna go and grab a bite to eat and just have a little catch up and stuff. So really looking forward to seeing the guys. We've taken you guys to the Saatchi gallery quite a few times now, yeah, yeah. but it is our favorite gallery in London. Yeah. Let's go and get cultured. How you doing guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good to how see you doing? man, how's things? Yeah, good, good. How are you doing, Chicken? You alright? Gracie has <laughs> stolen Sammy's sausage. <laughs> They've been cheersing with their sausages. Cheers sausages. Is it good? Delicious. Delicious. It broke me down, I went in circles somewhere else. Shook the best when your love was hard. holding out his hand again. Come on, Sammy. So we're just going to go and hibernate in a pub before we go and find some dinner. See you later, buddy. See you later, guys. We parked in Marks and Spencer's in Chelsea. Guess how much the parking ticket was? Fifty pounds. I cannot believe that we've just spent. We've just paid fifty pounds. 
the parking. Did they yeah, validate the ticket? Know, yeah, you know last That's time even with the ticket validated. That would have been more. Last time we went to Guildford, the parking was £3.50 and we stayed for about four hours. I feel like I'm going to be sick. £50, Tony. Are you even serious right now? Can you believe that? You don't seem as shocked as I me. I thought £20 top. 50 quid. We could have actually parked illegally and it would have been like just as expensive. £50 in some bloody the shareholder's back pocket. It's the way the world works, my love. It's so frustrating when you, people rip you off like that. I've got nothing but hatred for MS now. Yeah, I do think you're overreacting quite a lot though. £50 is a lot of money, I know it is. Another week over. Can you believe it already? Well, I can believe it because I'm every time it. I wait, every time I put him down to bed every single night, I'm like, "How has this day gone?" It's terrifying. I know. <laughs> We're gonna be old with like liver spots. I am already old. Before you know it. I'm only 27 on Monday. We're gonna be watching this vlog back now one day, being like, "God, look how young we were." Look how young we were. It's gone so fast. That hasn't was before it? my facelift. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get a facelift? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I might get one as well. You don't need one. Yeah. I need an eye lift. Yeah, that's what I want actually. I just want to get rid of my crow's feet and my like eye bags. My eyes droop down too much. If I think about eye, I might be able to get them like li look lifted. Weird. I'd look like Liam Hemingsworth if I got my eyes lifted up, I reckon. That's a lot better looking. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>